Weren't you staying in five-star hotels for the past few weeks in Europe? So? <laughs> so you're like this total killjoy. I thought you'd be hanging out to make me jealous with your stories. I'm the one who hated Beck. You're like the nice guy. Why are you so down on her now? What happened over there? Nothing. It's just being with Mum reminded me of... <sighs> well, Dad and I were so good together. And I can't believe he would just throw that all away. I don't want to talk to you. Just let me explain. What? That you plagued me? That, that you, you, you served me into you? Do you make Reynolds on a bit of rice? And, and don't play that victim thing, okay? I fall for it and I'm not going to fall for it again. He made me do it. I didn't have a choice. Choice? You could have not lied to me, but you did, Amber. I don't want anything to do with you, okay? That's my choice. 30 seconds, just give me that. Please, Eddo. Okay. Adam. Time's ticking. I felt really shocking about what happened to your car. Good for you. I mean it. I'm ashamed about what I did. Reynolds has me in a bind. A big one. How? You'd hate me if I told you. Hey, I'm way past you there. And I don't blame you, but please, if you believe nothing else I've said, just believe that I'm sorry. Okay. Really? But that's it. Doesn't mean we're friends, okay? I know. And just do me a favour. Stay away from me. Hey, mate, I was going to do that. Yeah, well, it's done now. Um, well, how about I get you a steak at the club tonight um, to make up for it? Club? Yeah. Um, Beck and Stevens thing. You're not coming? Well, come on, mate. It's not often that I open up my wallet. And don't you want to be there for the flying of the moth? Not up for it, all right? I just thought that maybe it'd be good for you to get out and think about something other than Tracy for a bit. What am I supposed to do, Addo? Just turn it off? That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? Um, well, I know you're worried about Tracy. Oh, gee. You think so? I wonder why. Maybe it's because someone's taken her and she could be in trouble or... Because her daughter's crying herself to sleep at night. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, so I think I might just stay here tonight, if that's right. So sorry. Which brings me to the top three. Cars, women and food, in that order. Treat them right, they'll treat you right. Well, you know, cars, anyway, women, they're a different story, but you've got a couple of years to worry about that. Hey, everybody. Hello. <laughs> hey, this one is for me, and this one, that's, that's from Jay. He sent his apologies. Oh, no worries. Any news on trays? Ah, uh, no. Hey! Hey! Congratulations! Ah. Oh, you know you're breaking my heart. <laughs> yeah, you lose. I'm bored now. Can I play some pool? Where's your wonder twin? He's sweet. The jet lag hit him hard. Did you invite any talent tonight? What, on the nappy stuff? Well, if I wanted to be depressed, I'd join a book club. I mean, look at us. I want our prime. All alone. It's pathetic. Yeah, except for your prime was like ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one. Shouldn't you be at the mall or something? Hey, Stabby, you got a minute. For you, my friend, anything. Are you sure there isn't a 35-year-old stuck in that 16-year-old's body? I mean, how does the mouth on it? Forget about ghosts. What's up? Trouble in Addo land? Yeah, big trouble. Reynolds is back. The guy that thinks you own money. Yeah, and he still thinks that. What are you going to do about it? I have no idea. Well, how much does he think that you owe him? 100 grand. That's serious moolah. Yeah, and Goldilocks is back too. The one that set you up? Yeah, she was right there with him. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't know, mate. I guess I just need to tell somebody. Well, I'm here for you, bro. Yeah, it's just so tough at home at the moment because Jay's so worried sick about Tracy and Zoe and it's between the two of us. It's not exactly a picnic at the O'Donnell house at the moment. You mean, I wish I could help him, but I don't even know how to help myself.
Hey, you know what you need? What? Not on the town. Oh, I don't know, it's that. No, 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 don't be like that. I'm talking about not on the hunt. You too, Gabby. Me too what? You need to come out, you need to pick up a hottie, and you need to get back in the game. Yeah, you know what? I'm not really in the mood to pick up stuff. Yeah, oh, me neither, mate. Come on, guys. Well, I wouldn't know what to say. I'm so out of practice. Practice makes perfect. Hey. I hope you know CPR, because you're taking my breath away. See? Ten seconds is all it takes. Yeah, ten seconds and a lot more alcohol. Well, that can be arranged. <laughs> Here, you guys practice. Um, no, you know what? I I'm going to go home now. It's been a long day. I'm really tired. Gee, thanks. Oh, no, I didn't mean anything, Gav. It's just, I was, you don't... Well, I mean, you can come home with me if you want. <laughs> yeah, because feeling like a charity case really makes me feel sexy. I've got papers to mark. Oh, um, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Oh. Looks like the lone wolf rides again. Sunshine. Bobby, Faber, Sid. Check out the horoscope. But it says Leo got lucky last night. Yeah, who's Leo? Me, you idiot. Oh, I met a chick. Really? When? Last night. After you left the club. She's hot. She's totally into me. Yeah. And I didn't even have to turn on the stabber charm. Right. Here she is. Uh-huh. Neptune rising from the sea. Could be gorgeous. Hellraiser Hank is facing a spell behind bars in brand new Californication tonight at 10.